Ramona is a gifted teenage athlete, a baseball star in her hometown. The baseball club just offered her a shot at the major leagues and a professional career. Alberto just got a new job. The 25-year-old father of two is looking forward to a better life. Liliana is an excellent student. She recently won a scholarship to attend university abroad and pursue her dream of becoming a doctor. Miguel loves school. He loves his friends there. At eight, he is happy and full of life. Ramona, Alberto, Liliana and Miguel awoke one day two years ago to discover that their country, the Dominican Republic, their birthplace, the only country they have ever known, had suddenly decided they were no longer part of the country. This decision rendered them stateless. What does it mean to be stateless? It means you have no nationality and no country recognizes you as its citizen. With no nationality, you have no rights. Ramona now has no opportunities and little hope for the future. With no documents, she can't travel, so she'll have to give up on her dream of baseball stardom. For Alberto, no documents means no new job. He will have to look for other work, poorly paid and probably illegal, to support his family. Liliana will have to forget her dream of going to medical school and saving lives. Stateless people can't go to university, or work, or travel. Miguel will soon be forced to leave school and his friends behind. He doesn't understand why this is happening to him. Ramona, Alberto, Liliana and Miguel are real people. And there are tens of thousands more with similar stories all over the Dominican Republic, a nation in the Caribbean. They're of Haitian origin, but they were born in the Dominican Republic and for decades have always been Dominicans. Suddenly, in 2013, a court ruling stripped tens of thousands of people born in the country since 1929 of their Dominican nationality and their identity documents, rendering the majority of them stateless. They are now legally prevented to work, attend school or travel within the Dominican Republic or overseas. The authorities did this after decades of discriminations against Haitians and Dominicans of Haitian descent. Today, they are like ghosts, shunned by their homeland. In many cases, their families have lived in the Dominican Republic for generations. What can you do about this terrible injustice? Raise your voice. Sign our petition. Together, we can put pressure on the Dominican authorities to recognize the existence of statelessness in their country and restore nationality to Ramona, Alberto, Liliana, Miguel and tens of thousands like them, Dominicans of Haitian descent who are now stateless and despairing. They exist. They have rights. Hashtag, yes, I exist.